All right, well, we are looking at a very cool afternoon, especially across the northeastern corner of the state. And we are looking at a fairly cool afternoon across the northern mountains as well. Here's a look at Red River, where we have a little bit of snowfall still on the ground here, but we are losing a little bit of it as we've been warming up during the daytime hours. The good news is we are going to be cool enough through the overnight hours that we're going to be able to have good snowmaking weather for some of the ski resorts, especially across the northern mountains. So just because the snow is going away right now doesn't mean there won't be more on the way man-made or even maybe even a couple of storms as we move over the next month or so. Meanwhile, in the metro, lots of sunshine here and the temperature on the cool side, 58 degrees currently at the Sunport with a northwest wind at 10 miles per hour. Temperatures really dropping behind our backdoor cold front, which has slid into the northeastern corner of the state. Only 36 right now in Clayton, 42 in Raton, 51 in Las Vegas. We will see temperatures continue to cool down across the eastern portion of the state, but for central and western sections, don't expect as much of a cool down with this front. More than anything, this front's just going to keep the temperatures from warming up as we move into the first part of your weekend. And we do have freeze watches in effect for a few locations that have not seen the freezing mark yet this season, which may very well do it tonight. The Rio Grande Valley, which does include Albuquerque and into east central and southeastern portions of the state, we could see the temperature drop to right around freezing through the overnight hours. Meanwhile, wind gusts across the northeastern corner of the state starting to boost up as that front starts to slide in. 29 mile per hour wind gusts for Clayton and Tucumcari, 28 in Clovis, 18 in Las Vegas, 22 in Taos. So it's not a big time wind event, but you'll definitely notice some, notice some breezy conditions as that front continues to push across the state. Later on this afternoon, we may even see a little bit of breezy conditions across the metro through the late afternoon and into the evening. But again, not a big time wind event by any means. And over the weekend, the winds do come down quite a bit. Over the northeast, we are also watching a little bit of snowfall, which is trying to make its way into the Raton area. But a lot of these snow showers are now starting to fall apart. So don't expect very much in the way of significant accumulation throughout the afternoon. And eventually, all of this will pull over to the east and will clear out into the upcoming weekend. So we'll continue to see that cool air pour into the state through the overnight hours as that front starts to push in. Then tomorrow, we're looking at a very nice day. Lots of sunshine, but it will be much cooler across the eastern portion of the state. It stays on the cool side into central and western sections. And here's Super Storm Track with that chance at a couple of light snow showers across the northeast over the next couple of hours. But that quickly comes to an end and we start to dry out once again as we move into the weekend. Here's a look at southern Colorado. Lots of sunshine this afternoon. Highs into the 50s. We stay in the upper 50s through the weekend into early next week. Perhaps a few showers toward the middle of next week with our next storm system. Over the northwest, mostly sunny skies. Highs into the 50s. We stay mostly sunny through at least the next seven days with temperatures back into the low 60s for through the weekend and early next week. Over the southwest, mostly sunny skies. Temperatures will be on the warm side here into the mid 70s this afternoon. We do drop behind that front into the low 60s in Silver City for Saturday, rebounding in the latter half of the weekend. Over the southeast, cooler for this afternoon, especially as you move into the evening hours after that front passes through. You'll definitely notice the cool down only 68 for a high tomorrow in Roswell. And then we start to rebound those temperatures for Sunday before another cool down early next week. Over the northeast, partly cloudy skies. Could see a couple of those spots snow showers over the next couple of hours right along the state line. Then more sunshine for the weekend as temperatures start to rebound over the northern mountains. Partly cloudy, could see a spot mix, especially over the northern portions of the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. We rebound those temperatures in the latter half of the weekend before cooling down once again early next week. East Mountains, breezy conditions this afternoon, highs in the low 60s. In the metro, we'll be in the mid-60s this afternoon. And behind that front, we don't really cool down much. We just keep our temperatures where they are. And then we do start to rebound those temperatures a little bit for Sunday. Okay, thanks, John.